In this video, we're going to talk about what bivariate data is all about, as well as bivariate scatterplots. And we're also going to complete an example on this. So when talking about bivariate data, you'll notice that it comprises of two variables. Now, if you're not sure what a variable is, a variable is basically something that varies or changes. Now, these variables may or may not have a correlation. So we're going to explore this. And a good example of bivariate data was given by the Roman architect Vitruvius in the first century BC. Now, he claimed that a person's arm span is approximately the same as a person's height. So what we're saying is that a person's arm span has a correlation to a person's height. In this particular example, our variables are our arm span and our height. The reason we call them variables is because they vary or change depending on which person we are looking at. Every person we look at has a different height or, or different arm span. Now you'll notice we have a picture here, and this was drawn by Leonardo da Vinci, and he named it after this architect, Vitruvius. He called this painting the Vitruvian Man. You'll notice that when we look at this person's arm span, it looks roughly the same as the person's height. So Leonardo da Vinci also believed what Vitruvius believed as well, that a person's arm span has a correlation to the person's height. And we're going to explore this in example one. We're going to see if this is true. So for example one, it says the following table represents a sample of 15 people. Each person had their height and arm span measured and recorded. And we have it here in our table. Question A says, construct a scatter plot by plotting the points on the number plane at right, this number plane over here. You'll notice that our height is on the horizontal axis and our arm span is the vertical axis. We just look at the table one column at a time and in this particular column, the height is 152 and the arm span is 153. So we find that and we plot it, it would go roughly here. Then we go to the next column. When our height is 180, our arm span is 184, which would go roughly about here. I'm going to pause and fill the rest in. You can do this along with me. You'll notice once we've finished our scatter plot that as the height increases, the arm span seems to increase as well. Anyway, moving on to question B, it says, what is the scale for the horizontal axis? This is our horizontal axis here. And when we talk about the scale, we're just talking about what is it jumping up by each time. And we can see it's jumping up by fives because if we look at this particular point here, that's 155. And this is five more than 150. So each square represents five centimeters. Right, so we've also got questions C and D to go. It says, according to this data, would you say there is a strong correlation between a person's height and arm span? Why? And all we need to do is look at our points and see if there's some sort of a trend going on here. And, and there is one. The trend we notice is that as your height increases, your arm span increases as well. And you can tell if there's a trend if you're able to draw a line or curve that follows along with our scatter plot. I've just drawn kind of like a line of best fit. And I know that not every point lies on the line, but they're quite close to this line. If you can draw a line like this, then that's an indication that a strong correlation exists between the two variables. So what are we going to write here? Well, first of all, we'll say, yes, there is a strong correlation. And 
for our reason y, we'll say that the points follow in a straight line. All right, now moving on to question D, it says, what do you notice about the shape of the scatter plot? And for the shape, I would say that it makes a linear graph. Remembering that linear means a straight line. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.